But, of course, what's better than a hot dog at a baseball game here in Worcester? Well, a hot dog from George's Coney Island. That's what. The restaurant has been a staple here in Worcester for over 100 years. More than a century they've been feeding people here. Studio 25 host Brittany Everett stopped by to take us down memory lane. Today we're in the city of Worcester, which received more than $44 million in local aid from the Mass Lottery over the last year. The Lottery is proud to honor the small businesses that make our communities great, like today's local gem. It's a time capsule of memories and nostalgia, with its iconic sign, Art Deco style, and prices reminiscent of another time. We're talking about George's Coney Island hot dogs, but if you're from Worcester, you probably just call it Coney Island. A Coney Island dog is a type of hot dog, so it is mustard, chili sauce, and onion. This is Kathy Sandicos. Her family bought Coney Island in the 1920s, and it's been in the family ever since. Now I have my son working here with me, so we would be the fourth generation carrying it on, and, and um, as long as everybody wants to do that, we'll be here. So tell me about the sign. A little story behind that, isn't there? The sign that we have today is actually a depiction of my grandfather's hand. That's supposed to be a picture of his hand with the hot dog, you know, the mustard yeah. dripping down. After a brief history lesson, it was time to try the famous Coney Island hot dog. Okay, Brittany, I got one steaming hot dog with the works and a bottle of chocolate milk. Chocolate milk with a hot dog. It is the way that it's been done for years. I don't ask questions. I just try it, and I know for myself it's delicious. All right, I'm going to try it. Here you go. Let's see. You like it? That's delicious. Okay, good. Messy, but good. Yeah. I'm still not sold. I get it. Yeah, you get, get it. it now. You understand. Thank you. You've been enlightened. Yes, I have. Yeah. Although delicious, the Coney Island hot dog isn't made like it once was, and that might be a good thing. This is my grandfather, George, and he is holding the hot dogs, as you see. But not only is he holding them to display them, he's holding them because that's how they used to make the hot dogs. So imagine, and people will still remember it, they were hot dogs all the way up his arm, and they used to make the hot dogs super fast. And so then the recipe included maybe some sweat and arm hair? I'm, I'm sure that's probably why we can't do it anymore, maybe. <laughs> After 100 years of business, Kathy says she just wants to continue the tradition people have fallen in love with. And I just always want to make sure that we maintain the standards, that I honor my grandparents by doing a, a good job, obviously, and doing what we're supposed to do and, and make people happy.